What's going on? I'm Nick Zizi from UnleashYourZebra.com. I'm cleaning out my closet here and I've got a lot of books uh, all over the place that I'm organizing and I found this gem right here. Uh, Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins. I purchased a while back and I remember going through it a couple of times and I've got a few notes in a book that I'd like to share with you. Uh, which I feel would be of added value to you. So if you're watching this, uh, if you would do two things for me, please let me know where you're watching this video from. This will be quick. Just uh, type in the comment section below. Let me know where you're watching this video from. And secondly, please share this video if you um, know that the people who are your friends here on social media would receive value from it. So uh, let's do that quickly. Hey, Veronic, uh, Veronic, how are you? Good to see you. Um, yeah, so let's dive right in. Uh, again, I'm going over this book here, Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins. It's a book that I purchased a while back, read a couple of times, and I want to just read a few of the notes that I have here um, in the book, and hopefully it will be of added value to you. All right, so let's dive right in. So um, a few things. Um, he said here, thinking is the hardest. This, this is by... Um, Henry Ford, he quoted Henry Ford, he said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is the probable reason why so few engage in it. I'll say that again. Thinking is uh, the hardest work there is, which is the probable reason why so few engage in it. It is very important to take time to think, especially during this time, especially um, right now, um, today. Um, you want to take time during this moment of, of social distancing. You want to take time to think. Think about your life. Think about uh, your, your relationships. Think. Reflect. Super, super important. All right. Um, there, there's, there's more here. Uh, results are inevitable. If you don't provide your mind with the programming of results you desire, someone else will provide that programming for you. If you don't have your own plan, someone else is going to make you fit into their plan. Mm. I'll say that again. If you don't have your own plan, someone else is going to make you fit into their plan. Someone else will make you fit into their plan. So you want to make sure you have your plans, that you are taking time right now to plan. Go over the next year. Think about the next uh, three years. Think about the next 10 years. Where do you want to be? What do you want to achieve? And so on. So very important. Um, let me continue. I'm just going to just go through some of the pages here and just share a few thoughts with you. Um, he also said one of the reasons most people don't do well in life is because success is usually disguised behind hard work. Isn't that true? One of the reasons most people don't do well in life is because success is usually disguised behind hard work. Again, anything that's worth having, anything that's worth having, anything, whatever you may think about, um, that's worth having is going to require hard work to obtain it. Super, super important. So let's say if you want to go, uh, you want to get your PhD, you're, you're not going to get it in a year. It's going to take a lot of time and work to do that. If you want to become a doctor, it's going to take you a lot more time to become a physician than it is to become an entrepreneur. So there's, there's a lot of work behind it. So that's super important. Um, there's another... Uh, Highlight, I highlighted this line here. Um, he said the journals are a great, let me go back. Journals are great to review, to study how your life has developed and how much you've grown. If your life is worth living, it's worth recording. I've taken that for my own. I've, I share this all the time with, with educators and students across the nation, and I share with them the, the importance of journaling. You want to journal. You want to write about your life. You want to write about what you're learning. You want to write about your experiences. You want to write about how you're feeling. You want to write about your successes and your failures so that you can go back and review, so that you can go back and study your life. See, some people know more about other people, know more about celebrities than they do about themselves. Some people know about more about their vehicle or, or perhaps a favorite car that they like more than they know about themselves. Some people know more about their computer 
their MacBooks or perhaps their PCs, all the specs and everything, and not know much about themselves. So when you journal, when you're writing on a regular basis about yourself, it's very simple. You just buy a, a notebook and you just start writing about your experiences. What did I learn today? What am I grateful for? What are my goals? And as you're going through that, that's going to help you to um, that's going to help you to uh, to learn more about yourself and maximize. Wait, hold on. I'm coming. Can you tell Zach to keep it down? Tell him to keep it down, please. Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll take care of it. Just give me a minute. So you want to write about your life. Um, you want to write about your life, so um, get a journal. So very important. Um, there are many other lines here, many other lines in this book, many other uh, great notes that I took from here. Oh, look at this. Words are the most powerful drug used by mankind. Uh, he quoted Rudyard Kipling. Uh, words are the most powerful drug used by mankind. Uh, so you want to use your words wisely when you use words wisely. In fact, scripture says that the power of life and death is in your tongue and your mouth, the words you're speaking. So you can speak life or you can speak death. I choose to speak life over my life. I, I choose to speak life over my finances, over my relationships, over er every area of my life. I choose to speak life. So uh, there, there's a lot more. I may have to come back on. As you can see, the kids are, are calling me. And, and this is this is real life. We're, we're on live streaming. Um, so uh, I hope you have received value from today's video message. If you guys like this type of content, I've got tons of books, literally hundreds of books here at my house that I've read over the years. And I've been meaning to come on and do like short book reviews. I just haven't had the time. So uh, today, as I'm going through my closet, I'm noticing I have a lot to share. So if you guys like this, if you want me to share more, please let me know in the comment section below.